वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गर्ज इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी कैन कम्पेयर डेटा फ्रेम्स इन आर पैंडाज इन आर टूडेज सेशन वील टॉकिंग अबाउट टू न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज पे वोटिंग एंड मेल्टिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दट वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पे वोटिंग एंड मेल्टिंग ओवर हियर इन आर डेटा फ्रेम्स सो गर्ज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पे वोटिंग बाई दिस एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ यू हैव थ्री कॉलम्स लेट्स से यू हैव नेम एंड देन यू हैव ग्रेड एंड देन यू हैव हॉबीज ओके सो इन दे वोटिंग देर आर थ्री पैरामीटर्स इट टेक्स थ्री पैरामीटर्स द नेम विल बिकम द इंडेक्स द ग्रेड विल बिकम द कॉलम and the hobbies will become the data inside it suppose if we have let's say john peter david and lisa similarly in the grade we have third fourth sixth and eighth and the hobbies we have dancing singing art and music okay so now what new output we will get after pivoting we will get the name the names will remain like john because it will become rose so peter david and lisa but now the grades will become the column so we will have third fourth sixth and eighth and the data over here would be so john third and dancing so hobbies would be over here here we will be having dancing here we have peter fourth singing so peter over here fourth over here so here we will have singing here we will have it's not singing but singing here we will have art and And lastly, on Lisa and eight over here, we will have music. This is how we will get the output and the uh, the values, the empty values over here. These will be what? These will be not a number values. That means these will be a non values over here. This is how we will get the output. Pivoting means that we will pivot the values in such a way that it will take three parameters. The first one would be for the rows. The second one would be for the columns, and the third would be the data. So here we need three columns basically. One will get converted into rows. The second one will get converted into columns, and the third one will convert it into Data over here. We can give multiple data as well. So if you want, you can. If you want to create another data frame with another data, you can give more multiple data as well over here. Let's have a look on how we voting works with the help of PyCharm. So first of all, I will import pandas over here. So import pandas as pd. Once we have imported pandas, let's create a dictionary over here. So I'll be creating a dictionary in which we will be having. Let's say first one is k1. I'll be creating a keys over here. So I'll be just creating keys. Keys would be in the column. I'll be passing a list that will have k1, comma k2, comma k3, comma k4, comma. We will be having another values that let's say so after keys we have let's say the names the names of the student so we have John then we have Lisa then we have David and lastly we have Peter after this we will be having their hobbies or we can have their houses as well so if you know so just like in schools we have different houses like if someone is in red house green house blue house yellow house uh, not you yellow but gold we say generally so we can keep those houses over here so let's say that someone is in red house we'll give red over here then we'll give blue the the one is in blue then someone is in uh, let's say green and one more uh, over here is in red because majority of students i don't know somehow goes in a red house okay so this is how we have houses over here now what we need to do we need to apply the method of pivoting over here to uh, to apply that first of all let's create a data frame so df is equals to pd dot data frame and here i'll be passing our dictionary and let's run it as well by printing df as soon as we run it the output that we will get over here would look like this that we have one column that is keys the second column over here is names then we have houses for keys let's keep them as k1 and k2 over here that these keys are k1 and this one is k2 so we will have only two types of keys over here k1 k2 k1 k2 so that the data will get distributed in the two column in the two rows only so this one will get converted into rows this one will get uh, the names will get converted into the columns and the houses will get converted into the data over here so here i'll be writing print df dot pivot inside the pivot we'll be passing three parameters the first parameters will be the rows that is the key the second parameter would be the names that is the columns and the third parameter would be the data that is the houses and as soon as we run it let's have a look on what output we'll get over here so this is how we'll get the output you can see that we have uh, in the k1 we have green and red because here we have uh, k1 in red and green and over here we will get blue and red in p Peter and Lisa. So this is how we have obtained the uh, data that in the the rows the rows over here are K1 and K2. The columns over here are names that is David, John, Lisa, and Peter. And the data over here is green, red, blue, and green that has been distributed inside the rows and columns. The empty values over here are NaN values. This is how we have obtained the data. Suppose if there was more data, there were let's say grades over here as well. That uh, grades of the students and if I write grades and let's say someone is in second grade. Someone is in eighth grade. What I have done? Let me just write it again. So someone is in let's say second grade. 
someone has someone is in 8th grade someone is in 9th grade and someone is again in 3rd grade in that case um what we will do uh, the house is the part of the houses will become what in that case what would happen this one uh, i'll i'll just write it in this way that over here index will be the keys comma columns will be the names and the values would be the houses and here we can pass a dictionary uh, sorry a list over here that we can write a list that has houses and grades so i will write grades as well inside the double quotation and let's keep close the list also over here now if i run it the output that i'll be obtaining over here is that i'll be obtaining two data frames basically inside the one which, which has columns as names rows as k1 and k2 and the data over here inside it as uh, this one has houses and this one has grade over here so this is how we will be obtaining the output so you can you can pass multiple values also over here and the columns obviously will remain one you cannot create multiple types of columns but you can create the columns over here will remain one and the rows over here will remain one that means you can pass one value over here okay this is how our uh, concept of pivoting works now let's talk about what is melting here the concept of melting over here says that suppose if you have three rows uh three columns basically let's say you have names then you have gray and then you have houses okay so names is let's say uh first we have john then we have david then we have peter and lastly we have lisa similarly in the grade we have third we have eight we have nine and we have tenth in the houses we have red blue green and blue again okay so melting over here says that here one whole column will become what a whole column will become the values of a whole column that means here it will get converted in this thing the name of the column will get converted into a variable and the value inside it that means a uh, third eighth ninth and tenth will get converted into the values the new one would look like in this way that suppose we have names similarly just we'll just ignore the names right now so the names will come over here just like this but here in front of it what we'll get we'll get variable as uh, third variable as grade 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 it's actually grade and again grade and the value inside it that means the value would be third so another new column will get created that would be the value so value over here would be third eighth ninth and tenth that means this whole column will get melted in the form of two more columns that means one of the the name of the column will get converted into a variable and its value inside it would be the grade 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 and the values over here that means whatever data is there inside this column will get converted into a new column which will be called as value and the new values will get and the values which are there that means all the data which is there will get converted in the format of this okay this is how like we will get that a grade over here is third grade over here is eight grade over here is nine grade over here is 10 similarly if you want to add houses also over here you can add houses so houses over here is red and then houses next house over here is blue so it will keep going on in this way that this will get melted one column will get melted and create a two separate new columns which in which the name of the column would be a variable and the values inside it that means the data which is there inside it will get converted into a new column that will be called as values here okay let's have a look on how this can be obtained in our pie chart so i'll just put this data inside the comment and here from here i'll remove this keys part okay so we have this as our dictionary how to melt a data frame first of all let's create a data frame so for that we will be writing df is equals to pd dot data frame here we will be writing dict and we will print df let's run and see what output we'll get here so as soon as we run it this is the output that we are getting over here 0 1 2 3 name houses and grade these are the three columns that we are obtaining now if we want to melt it for melting it what we will be doing we'll be writing here let me just increase the font size a bit so for melting we will be writing df dot melt and what do we need to melt we need to melt the data frame and to melt the data frame what we'll be doing we'll be writing print pd dot melt what we need to melt we need to melt the data frame where the variable the id variable would be the variable would be the names and let's say the value variables over here we'll so be writing value variables would be our houses okay let's run and see what output we'll get over here as soon as i run it the output basically looks like this that we have names as the whole column now next was id variable that the next was value variables that was houses over here so what has happened with the variable column that means the houses column a new variable column has been created in which all the values are houses and the values which was there in the house that has been converted into another column over here which is called as value and inside the value is red blue green and red 
it again. Similarly, if you want to pass a list over here, so suppose in the value variables, we want grades as well. So I'll be writing grades and let's enclose it and now let's run it. So in that case, what will happen in the variable section only the grades will get added. So now in the variable, we have grades as well and their value has come over here in front of it. So the name also are repeating over here that John is in grade second, Lisa is in grade eight, David is in house green, Peter is in house red. This is how we have obtained the data over here. Okay, by melting the data frame. So you can melt one column at a time or you can melt multiple columns at a time where a, va where a variable column will get created and a value column will get created. If you want to change the name of the value and the variable column, that is also possible over here. For, uh, for that, all we need to do is we need to put a comma here. So I'll be just putting a comma over here inside. Now I'll be writing variable name so we'll be writing variable name variable name is equals to whatever name you want to give so we can give houses and grades because it has houses and grades and for and we can use this as well sample percent grades and then we have value name so value name could be just the values inside it so we can just write it as values and now if i run it so instead of variable this was never closed so let's close it as well okay now let's run it okay so now the name of this column variable column has been changed to houses and grades in the uh, and over here this has been converted the values column has been converted into the values itself so whatever name you want to basically give over here you can give that value just this is how we can melt a column particular column and form two columns out of it or if and if you want to uh, melt two columns over here you can melt two columns also out of it where it will create two more columns that will be variable and the value so this is how the concept of pivoting and melting works so i hope you guys have no doubts in the questions in pivoting and melting so here we are ending our topic on pandas so here we are here we have complete pandas completely from our next session we will be starting that what is matplotlib we'll be talking about matplotlib in brief and we will be covering all the modules that are there in our matplotlib so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you